is another Fox News alert where the chairman of the House Judiciary and Oversight Committees are now making a request for a second special counsel. That formal request was made about an hour ago with the Attorney General Jeff Sessions. In a Fox News exclusive tonight, the two chairmen are with me now. Bob Goodlatte from the House Judiciary Committee and Trey Gowdy from the House Oversight Committee. And gentlemen, thank you for your time here. Yes, sir. Chairman Gowdy, your letter states, matters have arisen. What's changed? Um, what changed for me was the knowledge that there are two dozen witnesses that Michael Horowitz, the inspector general, would not have access to. So your options are DOJ investigated themselves. They can't do that because of conflict of interest. Let the inspector general do it. Now, I'm a big fan of Mike Horowitz, but he has no jurisdiction over witnesses that have either left the department or never worked there. So when I counted up 24 witnesses that he would not be able to access were he to investigate it, yeah, only one conclusion, that's special counsel. Who's on that list? Uh, everybody from Jim Comey to Andy McCabe to Rubicki, uh, Sidney Blumenthal, Cody Shearer, anyone who no longer works for the Department of Justice or the FBI. Uh, State Department, you may recall a couple of weeks ago there was some indication that State Department employees were feeding information to Fusion GPS. They would be outside the reach of the Inspector General. So anyone who's not currently employee of DOJ, Michael Horowitz doesn't have subpoena power. There was a report that McCabe was a leaker for the Hillary Clinton matter. Is that true? I don't know, and um, Horowitz will be issuing that report, and I have a lot of confidence in him, Ben. I think, uh, Bill, he's a straight shooter, and we'll see. To Chairman Goodlatte, you said earlier today about the FISA court, specifically the process was abused. How? Well, it was abused by uh, a gathering of information from a very suspect source, not disclosing that information to the court, uh, and uh, in my opinion, uh, getting authority to look into the uh, background of an American citizen's life on uh, questionable circumstances. And that uh, is uh, a very serious concern. You know, the FBI is America's premier law enforcement organization. Every day, thousands and thousands of great men and women keep us safe. Uh, investigate crime, prevent terrorist attacks, but several people at the top of this organization have engaged in activities that are questionable. And I think that in order to set the record straight, clear what is going on at the FBI, and make sure this does not happen again, we need to have an outside special counsel investigation. Let me read from your letter in part on screen now. You write, there's evidence of bias trending toward animus in your letter among those charged with investigating serious cases. There's evidence political opposition research was used in court filings. There's evidence this political opposition research was neither vetted before it was used nor fully revealed to relevant tribunal, end quote. Do you have evidence the Department of Justice was spying on the Trump team during the election? Uh, that depends on whether or not you consider Carter Page to be part of the Trump team. He was an advisor, so, they, so to the extent that he was an advisor, absolutely, this whole FISA warrant was on Carter Page. And, and necessarily, you would also pick up conversations that Carter Page was having with others. So the answer to that question de facto is yes when you approve the warrant against Carter Page. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? I agree. It's premised on the idea that Mr. Page was somehow critically involved in something that uh, they wanted to investigate, and I think uh, the, the case that was built for that is highly suspect. What is wrong with the IG doing his job? There's nothing wrong with the IG doing his job, and I want him to go ahead. Uh, he has a couple of tasks in front of him. One is to complete his investigation into how the FBI handled uh, the Clinton email matter. That is separate, and we want that report out as soon as possible because we know he's been working hard on that. He's looked at more than a million documents, uh, and that should be made public. The Attorney General has now tasked him with looking into this matter as well. But as, as Trey has noted, he can't do the complete job. It involves other departments of the government. You, do you trust the Attorney General? Uh, I, I definitely uh, welcome the Attorney General encouraging that aspect of the investigation. I think more needs to be done, and I think the way to do that that helps the Attorney General, the Deputy Attorney General, the Department of Justice, and the FBI is to take it outside of those organizations so the American people can see this properly investigated. Those looking on the other side of this may suggest that Congress can go ahead and do this job. 
What's wrong with that idea? Um, anyone who's watched Congress over the last 12 months, uh, we leak like subs, and I say weak only because I'm a member of Congress, but that's pretty common for this town, however. It, it, it is, but serious investigations don't leak. The executive branch investigations, whether it's your local district attorney or whether it's Bob Mueller, there are far fewer leaks from Bob Mueller than there are from Adam Schiff. So we don't have the tools. We don't have access to a grand jury. We can't grant immunity. We can't compel testimony. Um, and um, we're not, we don't prosecute crime. So there are a thousand reasons to let the executive branch or special counsel handle this as opposed to Congress. But you don't know where special counsels lead. You start with a, a land deal in Arkansas and you end up with a blue dress. You have no control over that. Um, you can set the strictures of the jurisdiction. Um, if Attorney General Sessions decides to appoint special counsel, he's going to give a document that sets the jurisdiction. The only reason Bob Mueller can go where he's going now with Manafort and others is because the fourth clause of that jurisdiction allows him to pursue other matters that may arise. So you can, you can limit the jurisdiction in the four corners of the document. There was a suggestion today that if the House flips in November, you would lose control of the issue. Is that part of the reason why you're pursuing it now, Chairman? No, I don't think we're going to lose control of the House, but I think that uh, control of this investigation has to be done uh, in a more orderly fashion than you get when it becomes a political football, uh, as this issue clearly has uh, in the House Intelligence Committee and elsewhere in the Congress. So we're going to continue to do our oversight duties and to investigate, but I think a more thorough investigation that can get to the bottom of the matter and do it in a way uh, that can re result in the FBI's reputation being restored and changes that are needed to be made be made is best done with the independent when, counsel. When will you get a response in your letter from the Attorney General? Uh, we don't know, but we hope we hear from him soon, and we hope that uh, uh, he takes action and that he does so in a substantive way. Will you get an answer? Um, I don't know that we'll get a formal answer. The fact that he doesn't appoint one, I guess, is an answer. Um, he doesn't owe us a formal um, explanation, but I think it'd be wise for him to give us one, because I, I think our, you know, Chairman Gillette and I do not routinely call for special counsel. I've resisted the call in other cases. This fact pattern is unique and compelling, and I think you ought to really consider it. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Trey Gowdy, Bob Goodlatte. Thank, thank you. you. In a moment.